This is Mastro AI, a framework that makes it incredibly easy to build an AI agent in TypeScript that comes with MCP servers, custom tools, and so much more. If you've seen my video on the Claude Agent SDK, Mastra blows it out of the water. But does it do too much? Mastra supports workflows, RAG, different storage options, evals, observability. I mean, it's kind of overwhelming, or is it? Let's see if we can break things down. And before we do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. For this video, we'll focus on the very basics of agents. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on workflows. After installing Mastro using the CLI, you'll see a lot of dependencies in package.json, which we'll go through later. For now, let's look at the files and inside the Mastro directory, let's delete the workflows folder, weather tools, and also the weather agent, because we're going to create a new file called financial agent. And in this file, First, we're going to import agent from master core agent. Then we'll create a constant variable with the name of our agent that instantiates the agent class. We'll then give it a name, give it a model, which you can get from the list of available models that master supports, and then give it some instructions, which will be the system prompt. For now, we'll say something like always respond with I don't know. And thanks to Whisperflow, we have the text in place. This is all you need to create a basic agent. Next, we need to register the agent by going to index.ts. Let's delete this code related to the weather agent. Then we'll import Mastra from Mastra Core and then export a variable also with the name Mastra that's going to instantiate the Mastra class. Then we'll import our agent and add it as an argument. Now, if we run the dev script, we should see our agent in the Mastra playground and we can communicate with it. Well, almost communicate with it. Let's give it a more detailed system prompt, which contains the role definition, core capabilities, and much more, all provided by the Mastro 101 course, which now gives a much more useful answer. Next, we can add a file to the tools folder called get transactions tool. Yes, I've spelled transactions wrong, but anyway, we can import the create tools function from Mastro core, which we can use to create a tool called get transactions. We'll give it an ID, a description, then we'll add an output schema, which we can do with Zod before giving it a function to execute. Then we'll create this get transactions function, which will simply return this fake data. Then in our agent, we could add a new tools field and add our transactions tool, which should now show in the playground. So I can ask a question like, how much did I spend on Waymo? Then it should use the tool to give me the exact amount. But if I then ask it, what is to X that amount? it will give me an incorrect answer because my agent doesn't have any memory. To fix that, we can add a memory field to our agent and create a new memory class from Mastro memory. And here we can add a storage field for where we want the memory to be stored. For now, let's instantiate the libsql store class, which we get from Mastro libsql, and we'll store the data in memory. But of course, Mastro provides many other options. Now we can see over here, Mastro will save our chats. And if we ask the question, how much did I spend on Amazon? We can see we get a response. And then if I ask, what is 2x that amount? It remembers the amount we asked for and gives me the correct value. We can do some really cool things here, like add working memory with a template, which shows in the memory tab of the playground. And if I say my preferred name is Pogo and my preferred currency is pounds, the agent uses a tool to visibly add those values. And then when I say, what's my name and how much did I spend on Waymo? It adds those values to memory and returns my name as well as how much I spent in my preferred currency. We can also add tools from MCP servers using the MCP client from master MCP. For example, I'm using the firecrawl MCP server, then using the get tools function down here to add the tools to my agent. And now we can see the list of tools down here which we can use to scrape information from any website. But of course, you won't be using your agent in the playground the whole time. Mashup provides documentation for all the API endpoints in Swagger, making it easy to communicate with my agent via API endpoints, but the response is a bit difficult to read. Instead, we could create a master client using the port provided by master, then grab our agent and give it a prompt, which will return this value. Of course, you could customize the server to run on a different port. And that is how you can create a super basic agent with master. Of course, there's so much more you can do with this framework, but I think this is the future of working with AI. 
we're no longer going to use general purpose models, but instead mold them to our specific needs to make us more productive, especially as developers. I mean, Mastra is already being used to build data dashboards, design electrical systems, and to create AI vet assistants. What do you think of Mastra AI? Are you going to use it to build a custom agent? Let me know in the comments. Again, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy coding.